Hello, today we're going to be showing you a MIPI demonstration system. This MIPI demonstration system is taking video that's being output by this computer and that video is streaming over this HDMI cable. Uh, the video resolution that's being used is 1280 by 720. So the video streams over this HDMI cable uh, down onto this little video interface card and the first thing that we do with the video is we actually loop it back out to this external display. The other thing that we do with the video is we take the video and we pass it down to a Altera Cyclone 4 programmable logic device. Within this programmable logic device, that video is being processed and then uh, output uh, from the FPGA uh, out to this interface card. And on this interface card, there are these uh, Medicom uh, FPGA bridge ICs. These uh, bridge ICs then uh, output uh, MIPI compliant data over these SMA cables. In this particular case, we're using four channels of data and one channel uh, of clock. It's a source synchronous uh, signal, and each of these uh, each of these channels are differential. So those four channels of data go down to another little interface card, which is then uh, connecting the MIPI data uh, to this display. Uh, this display has a MIPI controller on the back side of it which takes the MIPI data and uh, streams it uh, onto this display. And this is the sort of display that you would find uh, inside a, a standard uh, MIPI camera. So uh, this, this system uh, was put together by Altima. Uh, Altima uh, is a Japanese distributor of Altera uh, programmable logic devices and they created a full uh, reference design which uh, takes does all the video processing and within that reference design they used a MIPI uh, DSI host controller from Northwest Logic. Uh, Northwest Logic is an IP provider located in Oregon and we provided the controller that takes in video data and then outputs it uh, in a MIPI uh, compatible format up to these Metacom chips. These Metacom chips are very important because the FPGAs that are generally available off the shelf do not have uh, the capability of processing uh, MIPI uh, compliant signals because they don't have uh, the I.O. support for that's necessary for MIPI. So these Metacom chips, uh, Metacom is a German uh, IC company, these Metacom chips take uh, LVDS and LVCMOS signals from the uh, FPGA and output that in a MIPI compliant fashion. So this demonstration system shows that uh, you can very quickly uh, and in a low cost basis create FPGA um, MIPI based systems and that's important because MIPI has now become the industry standard for talking to embedded cameras and displays so there's an increasing demand to be able to use uh, FPGAs to connect to those low cost uh, displays and cameras and uh, historically without having uh, all of these components the the low-cost uh, FPGAs combined with the controllers from Northwest Logic combined with the bridge ICs, all those components together uh, enable, uh, enable that kind of low-cost system to be put together. So if you're interested in learning more about this, you can go to the Ultima, Northwest Logic, and Metacom websites. Uh, there's a press release that talks in more detail about all these components and uh, via those websites you can find out uh, more about these components and uh, these components are all available uh, uh, to people um, as of this date. Thank you for your time.